Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Mathematics and this YouTube channel is all about the concepts of mathematics, the concepts of electronics and the concepts of computer science. So in today's video we are going to cover a really interesting topic from the maths that is the differential equation. So I have a differential equation right in front of me that is log of dy by dx is equal to ax plus by. And I have to kind of solve this differential equation and arrive at the solution to this equation. So I will be solving this entire problem stepwise on this paper here explaining you all the concepts, all the formulas involved. But before that let me make a request to you to please, please, please share this video with your friends if you really like this video and uh, you can uh, you can kind of uh, punch in your all your doubts in the comment section and I'll be happy to solve all of them. So let's uh, start the solution to this video with a big smile on the face. All right. So the situation here is uh, that the log function pretty much encompasses of this dy by dx uh, component here. Now the problem is the first and the foremost task here is to kind of free or release this dy by dx from this log function. So for this we will be using a property of log that is log of a log to the base a of b equal to c. If this is a situation then this can be written as a raised to the power c is equal to b. So this is the property of logarithm, uh, logarithm that we will be using in this particular video. So here I am considering the fact that the base of this logarithm log is e. So when I combine these two factors together, so that means e raised to the power ax plus by will be equal to dy upon dx. So let me write dy by dx is equal to e raised to the power ax plus by. Now after this I will be using another con uh, concept of the exponents and powers. Where, have, uh, where if the base is same and we have an addition format of the power then this can be broken down into the product of two separate powers. So that means dy by dx is equal to e raised to the power ax multiplied by e raised to the power by. So after this the next task at hand is to arrive at the uh, values of x and y. So for this what we will be doing is we will be kind of shifting the entire x factor or the x component on one side of the equals to sign and all the y component towards the other end of the equal sign. So it is kind of uh, shifting the places of the x functions and the y functions. So since dy is already here let me bring this e raised to the power by on the left hand side. So as soon as this reaches on the left hand side the power is reversed. So that means this will be e raised to the power by multiplied by dy is equal to e raised to the power a of x will remain intact and I will shift this dx on this side. So the next task at hand is to find the values of x and y by integrating both these sides. But before that let me reverse the power here. So this will be e raised to the power by dy is equal to e raised to the power ax dx. So after this step we integrate on both the sides that is the left hand side and the right hand side. So as we know that the integration of e raised to the power x is the same function that is e raised to the power x. So I'll write e raised to the power minus of by and then this is divided by the differentiation of the power here. So the differentiation of power here is minus of b. Now the concept that I've applied here is known as the chain rule in uh, integration. The other way to do this is to kind of take minus by as t and then you can calculate the value of dy which will be in terms of dt but in a single step I have uh, directly arrived at the answer here and same is the procedure on this side so this will be e raised to the power ax divided by a and then we add a constant of uh, an integration constant that is c. So let us shift all this to the one side so this will be uh, e raised to the power a of x by a I am shifting this to this side uh, plus e raised to the power minus b upon b plus c this will be equal 
to 0. So this my friend right here is the final answer to this interesting question and I hope that this video was informative enough and so for more such videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.